I've heard a lot of people say to me that oh your hair is so nice like is it because you're in China what are you using how is it how is the weather there I actually thought that it would be way more cheaper here. yeah everybody thinks that yeah, way that everything in right? China is cheaper so when I when I went on because you could have less products but still take good care of your hair yeah for me I don't have products exactly. like um, you can see the which hair. product do I you can use see the hair. <laughs> hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in and if it's your first time here it's queen b in the building <laughs> with me and she is Belle Gracias. My name is actually Grace but mm -hmm. my channel's name is called Belle Gracias. Yeah. So and I do you know hair related videos there basically so you can yeah, you check guys it out. Yeah you should subscribe to our channel. I will link it in the description box below and whenever you are done with this video just move on to her own video. So today's video is something different. I don't think I've done anything about this in my yeah, channel. Yeah I don't think I've seen anything yeah. about it. So it's channel. about you know this natural hair, hair. Yeah. and she's also um, a naturalist but i don't know why she's wearing my hair. hair and she made this herself you guys can check it out in, a, in her channel she has a tutorial on how she made it like can you imagine mm -hmm. all by herself yeah all, all by my lonesome <laughs> yeah so maybe i'll get a picture of her hair too so you can see how nice her hair is yeah oh god i'm already blushing <laughs> So we are going to be talking about natural hair and like natural hair struggles in China. We are mm -hmm. both in China at the moment and yeah. we are both natural. So just talking about our experiences and advising you guys on some things you can do. So let's get right into this video. So I'm going to be asking her some questions randomly yeah. and we'll just be discussing from there and you can learn one thing or the other. So the first question is, um, how long have you been natural? Um, I relaxed my hair. So I graduated from secondary school in 2011 mm -hmm. and I relaxed my hair. There about like 2011, 2012 to 2016. Mm -hmm. Then I think 2016, I decided to go natural again. Mm -hmm. So I guess to answer your question, like right now I've been natural for about four years and some months. So for me, I've been natural all my life like since i was born till this very moment i've never put relaxer on my hair not once not a single time why do i actually feel my hair texture is soft enough most people relax their hair <laughs> yeah she's touching what do you think yeah like most people relax their hair because it's difficult to manage not everybody but most people it's difficult mm -hmm. to manage they complain like it's paining them or stuff but my my hair has never had that difficulty so i didn't see the need to and my mom would always say don't relax your hair and because it was not paining me i didn't see the need to relax it mm -hmm. i've been natural all my life but i would not consider the part i was in nigeria i was not really taking care of my hair so if i show you pictures maybe i'll insert some pictures in this video but if i show you the pictures you'll be like are you sure it's this hair because <laughs> it was so terrible and the funny thing was that people were they were in love with the hair you know in nigeria most people don't yeah take yeah, care yeah, yeah. of maybe before i don't know about now so i remember in nigeria i would always pack my hair because i was uncomfortable with people having to stare at me if yeah. i let my hair down yeah they would be like is this your real hair are you mm -hmm. serious so many um comments like that but when i look at when i look back at those pictures i'm like what what were they actually admiring so yeah the question i've been natural all my life so i don't have the experience of being relaxed and not being relaxed so since you have both experience do you prefer being relaxed or having the natural hair which one do you think is better um, okay so i think i would prefer the natural that's not to say i hated the relaxed aspect mm -hmm. of things because i feel like my relaxed hair was so boring mm. because all i would literally do was just pack the hair in a ponytail and i'm good to go and yeah. i was not really the type to you know put attachment on my hair i was never really the you know artificial hair kind of person yeah. so you would never really see me with box braid or twisting or whatever it was just my hair all through I prefer my natural hair because it's so versatile i can do whatever i want so I can versatile rock guys so versatile. however i want so, yeah. so do you ever wish you went back to being relaxed hell no never no oh, no I've, I've never been i mean relaxed, there are so. times where i get so frustrated i'm like should i cut my hair ah? I would, not that should i go back to being relaxed oh okay or should i cut my hair mm -hmm. but other than that no I don't have anything to say because I've never been relaxed, so I don't yeah, know. I don't know what it feels like. Yeah, I don't she know doesn't. the struggle. I can only talk about the natural hair. So, like, since I like I mentioned earlier, we are both in China, and it's a different environment from 
our country so i want to ask you what difficulties do you think there were since you came to china like about your natural what struggles did you have compared to nigeria okay so i personally i wouldn't say there has been like a huge struggle so mm -hmm. i remember coming to china <laughs> you know my friends used to laugh at me because when they when they tell me that when they were coming to china they were packing food <laughs> all of them were packing food yeah grace did not come with even palm oil i didn't come with nothing not wow. even i didn't come with not even no mm -hmm. nothing all i came with was like a ghana must go through the hair products <laughs> okay now i see <laughs> so now i see I mean, it's crazy because at that point, I was not even thinking about food because I was like, oh my, it's not if I'm coming to a country to die. Mm. Obviously, there'll be food here. So yeah. I wasn't really thinking that, oh, at least once in a while, I would just miss Nigerian food, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. All I was thinking was that, what will happen if I cannot find this hair product here? Mm. So for me personally, I currently, I don't really have so much struggle in terms of the natural hair because I have most of the products right now, even though I'm running out. Yeah. But I have most of the products right now. I imagine that the struggles will start when I'm already out of my products. Mm -hmm. For me, natural hair struggles in China. Like she said, she packed a whole lot of things for natural hair. Me, there was not a single thing for she natural hair. She started taking care of her hair when yeah, she came to China. I didn't know anything about hair care or stuff. I was just enjoying God's glory in my life, which <laughs> was not in its full glory because I didn't know anything and I would just leave the hair the hairdressers would pull the hair so hard my front hair where my front line was bad now it's not so good but it's better like my front line was so bad I think I'll look for pictures and put there so you guys can understand what I am saying so when I came to China I started learning about how to take care of a natural hair it's not because of the um, product that here there's nothing special here but I didn't bring any product so I would say it was a struggle for me to find products to use so what I usually do, I just um, use natural product, like for people say put leave-in conditioner, mm -hmm. oil and stuff. I just use water as my leave-in, it's water-based. So the struggles were like not having enough products to buy. Like you, you see them but they are quite expensive and yeah. they are not re readily available. Yeah, that's where the struggles I had. So the next one is like, I've heard a lot of people say to me that, oh, your hair is so nice. Like, is it because you're in China? What are you using? How is the, how is the weather there? So, um, and I don't actually agree with them because their, their own final decision is because I am in China, my hair is nice. So since I have somebody here who is also in China and has also been to other countries, maybe she can tell you guys more about that. Like. Do you think it's because of where you are that determines how your hair flourish? No, I don't. So I think people are saying that right now because from what you said, you weren't really taking care of your hair when you yeah. were in Nigeria, right? Yeah. So when, um, when my hair was natural, to relax, to mm -hmm. back to natural again, I was always taking care of my hair. Like even back then, you would never see me go sleep without a certain scarf. Mm. Like, I, even when my hair was relaxed, wow. I would never sleep without a certain scarf. So at this point, it has become a ritual for me. Mm -hmm. So I just think it depends on how well you take care of your hair, not the location. Yeah. Yet. So yeah, no, I totally disagree with that. So you guys that are watching, hope you are hearing our hair special, natural hair specialist. Oh <laughs> because she, she actually takes care of her hair more than I do. Because me, I, she, I, I don't just, joke with my hair. Yeah, you can hear. I when don't. she was coming to, uh, to China, she brought a whole Ghana was go of hair product. Me, I didn't bring a single one. So you should know how I serious she is. I remember my cousin is. used to make fun of me and say that your hair eats more, more money than your, your entire body. <laughs> I know, right? Like, yeah, so like, it's not, it's not really about where you are. It's about how much you do to your hair. What, yeah. what product you not really product like how you how take well care you of, take care of yeah, your hair how well you because you could have less products but still take good care of your yeah, hair yeah for me i don't have products exactly. like you can see the which hair. product do i you use can see the hair. i just use water and the little oils i have maybe olive oil coconut oil that i have but i don't have like all this cancel collection or all those things i don't even know them yeah, yeah so it's not really about that so moving on to the last phase of this video um what would you advise somebody who is coming to China or maybe a foreign country that you feel you might not have the product or just coming to a foreign country, especially China in this case, mm -hmm. what would you advise the person to bring or to know about before coming about natural hair care? The first thing I would advise you to do is invest in your products because mm -hmm. if you're coming to China, I I didn't I didn't even know this that you know the products here will be expensive. I actually thought that they would be way more cheaper here. Yeah, everybody thinks that yeah, way that everything in right? China is cheaper. So when I when I went online I said let me try and buy some natural hair products I was seeing hundred yuan. Yeah. I was like, for why? Like so why? Expensive. So I would advise you, you know come with your own products mm -hmm. and wrap it well. 
so it doesn't end up spilling and all that come in your own products mm -hmm. um so yeah that's basically it really not there is no there is nothing you can really do in nigeria that you can't do here other than you know the product aspect yeah. of things yeah so yeah not like you can't get the product but like they are expensive, they are expensive. and they are rare you can get them yeah. but they are expensive so you know i was actually checking taobao you know because i wanted to get one hair product then mm -hmm. That particular hair product was actually going to be shipped from the US. Mm. Yeah, so some of them might not even be here in China. Yeah. So I guess that is another reason why they might be expensive. Of course, yeah, they don't because, make it here. Yeah. If it's Chinese product, like, of course, it's going to be cheap. cheaper. Yeah, yeah, because some shampoos and whatever. I also cheaper. use Chinese products. I, use Chinese <laughs> I mean, products. I use Chinese shampoo and conditioner. Yeah. And it works well for my hair. Yeah. So. But if you want all those, like, those things that products, are just yeah. they are just spent for our own kind of hair it's yeah. just advisable to come with them from your own country and maybe if you now decide that you want to stay here longer than anticipated you might just tell someone to help ship the rest exactly. or you might you know have the money to buy it here mm -hmm. so yeah thank you so much for your contribution thank you for inviting <laughs> I also, me i also learned something about this and i hope my viewers out there i hearing something and learning something from this video so with that we've come to the end of today's video and if you enjoyed it make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe yeah subscribe to my channel leave a comment down below say the things that you did not know before and now you know because of our discussion the and just things we missed out yeah 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 if there's anything we missed out you can put it down there and i will see you on the next video bye Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Wow. This is Queen. It's Queen B, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus, my Sorry. heart. You enjoyed it. The... What now, Uche? Why is spoiling our video? <laughs> oh. <laughs>